hope you are doing well and safe if you are working in an organization that is certified with iso or planning to be certified with iso then this video is going to be uh, very helpful for you to understand the context of the organization context of the organization is the class 4 of iso 9001-2015 so uh, what is the intent of this requirement Let's start with very simple words and keeping in mind an example. If you have an organization or business, there would be definitely a purpose of this organization behind that need to be achieved. Always there are some factors that affect to your organization or business positively or negatively to achieve a tender results or outputs. For example, an employee is a factor that affect the organization positively to get the intended results or outputs or effects negatively to down the organization. So context of the organization said such factors should be identified, sought out and make the mitigation plans for them and also make objectives from them. So context of the organization is the process to identify the factors that affect the purpose and strategic direction of the organization. Now we see the definition in ISO 9001. What is the context of the organization? As per ISO 9001, the definition of the context of the organization is business environment. A combination of internal and external factors and conditions that can have an effect on an organization's approach to its products, services, and investments and interested parties. In other words, context of the organization is also known as a business environment or organizational environment are the ecosystem of the organization where it is operates and referred to the internal and external issues relevant to the activity of the organization. So uh, why we need the context of the organization? What is the purpose to discuss the context and understand the context of the organization? So basically context of the organization is necessary to understand the external and internal issues that are relevant to the organization purpose and strategic directions that can affect either positively or negatively of the organization's ability to achieve attended results of its quality management system. So practically context of the organization is mean to identify the internal and external issues and list all the interested parties and their needs and expectations. So there are key four requirements of context of the organization. So what he said, context of the organization is said, determine, monitor and review external and internal issues, relevant interested parties and their expectation and needs, and establish the quality management system scope and determine the processes needed for the quality management system as well as their requirements, inputs, expected outputs, sequence and interactions, resource needs, responsibilities, risk and opportunities. So uh, there are four subclasses of context of the organization. So 4.1 is understanding the organization and its context. 4.2 understanding the needs and expectation of interested parties. Number three determine the scope of the quality management system and 4.4 quality management system and its processes. So context of the organization that is class 4 of the ISO 9001 split into four further sections. 
a detailed discussion of these sub four classes is available on our YouTube channels uh, with separate videos on each sub class. So if you like our video, please subscribe the channel for upcoming videos on ISOs. Keep in touch. Press bell icon. Thank you very much.